Fit and Nation, it is day 53, and there are still, I want to say maybe about six of you, six, five, six, seven of you who have not gotten a FOB, which means, I don't know how you're accessing the gym, because it's not always open, so, you know, this is a reminder, this is not a time for you to let off the gas, certainly not, uh, and it's not a time to look for an excuse to uh, say you can't do the challenge. Because you can do the challenge, okay? You just have to come in three hours per week to the gym and complete your workouts, okay? You can do this, all right? Now, if you are utterly fearful of catching COVID and you just don't feel safe coming to the gym, then I understand. Um, but, uh, but we really need to come up with a solution for you. So hopefully you're watching these videos and hopefully you're doing the uh, online classes. Which, um, you know, like I said before, I don't find them, they're not going to be, too, um, they're not what I want you to be doing, obviously, um, in place of the weights, but they're certainly better than nothing. Okay, so, um, if you're okay with coming to the gym, I'm going to highly recommend that you do. You've got 17 openings per day, seven days a week, essentially, okay? So there's no reason why you can't find uh, the three hours in the week to uh, to get your workout done, okay? Unless you're, like I said, you just don't feel safe with the whole COVID situation, okay? Um, I only have seven feedbacks from this week. Seven. So, and I'm, you know, I'm catching up here. So, you know, send me your questions, you guys. You've got to have questions, which... Um, Somebody actually mentioned in their feedback to me that uh, that basically uh, that I mentioned that if you don't give me feedback, then you're not really taking this challenge seriously, <laughs> okay, in a nutshell. And generally, this is the case. Um, so what I'm going to suggest to you is when you go to do your feedback at the end of the week, which again, most of you did not do this past week, um, you know, spend the week thinking about questions. I know that during the week questions come up. You know, it's like if I sit down at my desk in the morning, I'm like, okay, let me write everything I have to do today. Sometimes I'm like, I'm blank. And I'm like, no, I know I've got 50 things to do. Why am I blank? It's because that's just what happens. But when I do tend to know what I have to do, when it pops in my mind is as I'm going through my day and I'm, you know, doing whatever I'm doing, and things just pop in my mind. So my suggestion to you is, is that I'm sure this happens to you. Just jot it down somewhere. Put it in your notepad and your phone, or write it down somewhere. Just make note of it, because I know questions do pop up. You know, as I said, when you sit down to do your feedback, uh, you're probably just uh, not able to think of anything in the moment, okay? Um, so... Make note of it during the week when you when those questions do pop up. All right, we are day 53, folks. 17 days to go. You can still make mega massive change. You can, okay? Um, there's no reason why you can't get in the gym. I'm gonna remind you one more time, okay? All right. Um, Somebody had a great question here. They asked, uh, listen, why, like what's the difference between, uh, like why, the, why, why do we do the rep scheme that we do, okay? Um, so in a nutshell, uh, well I guess I should just finish the question here. They, they gave an example. They said like, what's the difference between doing uh, six times 10 versus say four times five? Um, so this is, uh, these are two distinct uh, rep ranges. Um, let's put the let's put the reps aside. Uh, sorry, let's put the sets aside. The reps, one we're talking about ten, one we're talking about five. Um, generally, with the rep ranges that we do, we are working in more of a hypertrophic rep range. That is a more of a muscle stimulating um, rep range, more of a rep range that, in theory, is going to help you to build a little more muscle. When you work with very low reps, so you know five. I mean, five is getting up there, but still would be considered 
more of that nervous system range. So that's not to say your muscles aren't working, but it's more nervous system taxing and less muscle, um, less muscle taxing, okay? The muscles still have to work super hard, but the time that they're working is, uh, is, is just not as much. And the amount of tension that's applied or the amount of output that has to come from your uh, central and peripheral nervous system is super, super high. Um, so these, when you're working with low reps, you're working more with your nervous system. This is why you can see power lifters who don't have the same muscle mass as some bodybuilders, but they're extremely strong because they have trained their nervous system with low reps. Low reps, you know, conversely to what you probably think, um, does not build muscle optimally. We want to be training in that typically six to, um, you know, if you're gonna look at a textbook, it's gonna say like eight to 15 reps, but really, you know, six to up to 40 reps, really, okay? You're gonna build muscle in that rep range. You gotta be doing the, the you gotta be doing more, more reps, generally speaking, okay? Um, so I hope that helps you. Um, another question. Um, now, you know what, actually, let me just say a little bit more on this. Um, also with the rep schemes, generally I try to make you do a little more volume or at least working volume with your pulling or rowing motions or pull up motions. than I do your pressing motions generally. Okay. Um, what else can I say? On your uh, movements that are, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Ice, on your isolation movements, so your one jointed movements, the, the movements that are basically just working one muscle group at a time, generally speaking, we are doing the higher rep range, you know, generally in that 15 to 25 rep range. Okay, on your big compound bread and butter movements, these multi-jointed, multi-muscle movements, your presses, your rows. Um, well, let's be even. Let's let's go more towards uh, the extremities here. Your presses, your deadlifts, your squats. Generally, you're working in the lower rep range on those. Um, and then, of course, as we dive out of that, we tend to go a little bit higher in reps. Okay. And then we get to those smaller muscle groups. We're going, uh, you know, even higher, right? Like I said, 15 to 25 reps. Uh, okay, time. Well, it's already eight minutes. Uh, all right, let me talk about cold showers tomorrow. Uh, it's something that I've been doing for a while now, and um, it's supposed to be highly beneficial. Very good for recovery, very good for uh, lowering inflammation, um, very good for uh, improving circulation in the body. We'll talk about that tomorrow, though. Let's get the message of the day. Why don't we do that? Get to the message of the day. And the message of the day is <clears throat> compare what you do, sorry, compare what you want with what you do. Okay, so compare what you want with what you actually do. Okay, so, you know, it's never too late to look in at your pillars of this challenge and ask yourself how closely you're following each one of those. Exactly, exactly the way they're, they're, they're put out, okay? You have two and a half weeks to make more change and you can make a very good change in two and a half weeks, okay? But I wanna remind you at the same time, we are day 53 here, all right? So if you've not got your fob, please get your fob if you have not booked the gym for this week, please do that. Get in and get your workouts in. There's two already posted for this week. I emailed those out. I've also posted them in the Slack group, which I'm sure you've seen. And get them done, okay? Compare what you want, what you hope for, what you dream for, what you plan for. Compare that with what you are doing, okay? That's all I'm going to say. Positive energy, positive vibes. 
believe in yourself and for the love of God, give some gratitude. I'll talk to you guys all very soon. Have a wonderful evening. See ya.